been alone for what seems like forever try to hold it together but i'm losing my grip i need someone who can make me feel better wrap me up in a sweater treat my pain with the kiss hi guys welcome back to another makeover yes i'm always excited to share a makeover video with you guys because you guys love makeover videos a lot on this channel anyway this is our living area and this is the major focus of this makeover we want to add a little bit of personality and depth to it because it's just been like a flat area okay so don't worry we're not gonna change so much but we're still gonna change so much <laughs> anyways this is the main focus even though we're gonna do a little make a little bit of changes in the dining in the kitchen just so that the whole room will flow but just tag along with me as we start off this makeover and yeah you guys are gonna go ahead to smash that like button and smash the subscribe button because i mean why not so let's get right into the video if you have been watching all my makeover videos you guys already know i always start with molding because for me i love molding in fact i'm obsessed with molding and you cannot shame the shameless i'm proudly saying it right now so i just feel like because we have molding in the kitchen diner already i just have to extend it down here so it can flow okay and for me molding adds a lot of depth to a small space so if you're someone who is considering decorating your space and maybe your space is a small space you can consider molding can you feel what I the first thing i'm gonna do here is measure i don't want to take down the frames yet i just want to go ahead to measure because i want the frames to sit right in into the molding okay so that is what i am doing so now that i'm done measuring that space that's going to be on top i i'm just going to go ahead to put down the frames and then proceed with my measurements listen guys measurement is key in this thing if you don't have the right tools i think i have a video where i did step by step um tutorial on this molding just go ahead and check out that video and you're gonna see i listed out all the items you need for this wall molding and one of the very important ones is a spirit level you need the spirit level for i'm telling you, if not your molding is gonna look crooked and it's not gonna be straight okay so basically all i just did here is just to get the point where i know like i've measured the space and i've you know marked the point on the wall so the next thing is just to go ahead with my spirit level to make sure that the points or the line is gonna be straight because the easiest way to get this thing straight is to use a spirit level draw the line and then go ahead to start your molding now that i have all the drawings transferred to the wall i'm gonna proceed with the molding so this is the molding from wix and it's the 34 mm it's quite similar to the one on the dining if you don't look closely you will know it's not exactly the same and this is bigger than the one we have in the kitchen diner okay but i'm just gonna proceed with it i wanna be a weekend lover yeah i'ma be the best damn lover you got i wanna mess up your covers i don't wanna meet your mother never ever ask me how i've been remember why you have my number i'm the best thing that has ever happened to it was a bit tricky because i was making sure that these frames were fitting nicely and i don't want so much space around the frame we like to switch things up a lot so having this style here is gonna let us be able to switch things up here without being restricted to the size of the paneling so that's why we decided to go with this big box so that the two frames can sit in in future if we feel like there's need for us to get a larger frame because for me it's all about large frames or large prints so if we feel these two frames we're tired of them we can easily get the size of frame or any frame that is bigger so it will still fit in two that space okay and then i'm not gonna panel the down part because that's total a total waste of time the point is just to make it blend with this style we have here okay so the down part is not paneled it's just a top part so that the whole room can flow together so now i'm just gonna go ahead to fill up the gaps you know the whole paneling process i'm just gonna go ahead to fill up the gaps and hopefully i can um prime tonight if possible I'm going to go ahead to fill up the holes with this filler because obviously we're going to have to drill new holes for the frames. 
whatever i was saying here was not important so i'm just gonna go ahead to sand down all the edges but i don't understand what kara was doing here like this one is my personal assistant i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you here's your time to shine out show me what guys this is the reason why i always prefer to go with dulux paints um dulux primer to be specific even their paint but this dulux primer can you see how thick it is all i need is just one coat and it will be as it is advisable to prime 24 hours after filling up the gap because you want the cork to dry very well before you start priming and then six hours after priming i went ahead to paint wow how gorgeous is this see this wall is beveled you can already see from here it's not a flat wall but anyways we pulled it off remember i told you guys we're not doing much but we're doing much anyway i am respraying the legs of this our accent chair to gold color let me know if you guys want a full video of this whole process but just know that i'm using a gold spray and i'm gonna leave the link right in the description box if you want to ever transform any of your furniture or whatever to gold okay i can make a full video and show you guys how i got this to look as beautiful i mean you guys need to see this so beautiful guys this gorgeous floor lamp is also a victim of my <laughs> mischief so i'm just gonna go ahead to tape off every part i don't want the paint to touch and i'll go ahead to sand it down because it's a smooth metal and you want the paint to stick okay after sanding it down i went ahead to prime it because in as much as Vostolin will tell you you don't need primer trust me you need primer because i have seen the difference so try to get primer if you feel you want to spray anything metal now after priming it i still left it for 24 hours guys don't don't spray immediately if you want good results i'm spraying the chair um the leg of the chair right here and i'm gonna do the same for the lamp so i had to work with them concurrently so that i don't waste my time spraying at different times sounds like i'm crazy but i need to believe in you to get through my is a plant i got from asda let me show you so i got that plant from asda and the plan is to use this plant pot to you know set it up this is from bnm i'm just gonna have to fill it up like this and then use one or two things that i got to fill up and then use this white decorative stones to fill it up on the surface i know i didn't show you guys when i did the hallway one so i'm gonna show you guys here how i did this or how i'm gonna do this get the frames up and yeah this wall is really beveled but we move <laughs> we decided to move the black picture light there and replace it with gold because we want gold to be in the living area as well so that's basically what we're doing here and i'm gonna link this picture light in the description box if you want to get it just go to my description box and you get it the idea is to bring in that general accent color which is gold into this living area to dominate the chrome okay because chrome has never been the plan the plan has been black and you know gray but it looks like the chrome is kind of dominating which makes this place not to really tie in with the whole house so that's what we are doing well can you guess what the next project is gonna be <laughs> these dining chairs i've never ever liked the legs so since it's not even chrome i don't even know the color this is dark ash or dark gray whatever you call it we are now going to get them into the gold family yay 
for the record it took a lot of convincing for hobby to let me do this so i hope i pull this off that was his warning okay so let's do this <laughs> basically the same step i primed and then i resprayed like i said if you want to see the full video please please leave me a comment and i will make that available this is a gorgeous vase i got from junem i just love the shape but i don't like the color so let's do justice to it <laughs> i also got some very lovely deliveries from h&m h&m has got very beautiful vases this is the donut vase and then the book stand Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to style the space with these gorgeous items. I also decided to change our hand and dish soap bottles in the kitchen. So I'm going to link this for you guys in the description box. If you want them, go ahead and get them. <music> Did you guys think we're done no so these gorgeous handles just came in and i'm so excited because we are changing our kitchen cabinet handles guys we're changing them from the chrome to gold and i love this one because it is textured and it's going to add texture to the kitchen area okay so i'm also going to link this for you guys make sure to measure the holes in between so that you'll be sure of the size and these are very affordable i'm gonna link them in the description box for you You guys know how much i love to decorate this space so let's decorate this space together shall we lover yeah i'ma be the best damn lover you got i wanna mess up your covers i don't want to meet your mother never ever ask me how i've been remember why you have my number i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine, I'll show me what you can do The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make, you're falling The way my lips feel on your body The way we're moving in the dark With every breath we take, you're falling I ain't got no time for romance But baby, I don't want to you are not looking for something steady not ready for that i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you here's your time to shine and show me what you can do make a move the way my hands feel on your body they were dancing in the dark with every move i make you're falling the way my lips feel on your body the way we're moving in with every breath we take, you're falling Never ever ask me 
very happy with this space so the the idea was to add character and depth to this area and by adding character we realized that this area was lacking one thing that was general in the house and that that's the one thing that's gonna tie up the whole house and that's the gold accent so in as much as we had silver we decided to bring in the gold metal just to you know dominate the silver if you're following me on my platforms you know that i am a gold lover okay so because we have gold in the hallway we have gold in the rooms and in fact that's the common thing you'll find in the whole house so we felt it is best to introduce gold into this place and by doing so we kind of tie them in tie the gold and the silver but i mean at the end of the day it looks really nice it has really popped the dining chairs it has um kind of given this particular living room a character and then the molding kind of gave it that depth we wanted just to add it up to what we have in the kitchen area and yeah i mean i just feel like this whole place is gonna i don't think we want to turn it completely gold i love the fact that the gold and the silver are kind of meeting each other and it's giving it that personal touch to it okay that intentional touch let me know what part of this makeover you enjoyed very well and what part you want to see more in any other video if you want me to elaborate i can do that for you guys because like i said i have a full video for each and every one of them so just let me know don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you don't have anything to comment just go ahead to say yes to this tribe and yeah i'll just know that you have seen me you have watched the video and you loved it and yeah i will see you guys in my next video stay fabulous Bye!